Hey besties, welcome, welcome back to my channel. So it's currently Monday, December 18th. It's 4.46 p.m. And I'm back to show you guys my winter night routine. I'm actually really excited for this video. I'm not doing an everything shower. I'm just shaving and exfoliating tonight. But I'm also gonna go hard in on my skincare because my skin's been breaking out. You guys, I have two pimple patches on right now because my skin has just not been doing its thing recently. And I honestly think it's just because the weather has been so inconsistent. Like it'll be really cold and then it'll be hot and then it'll be raining and then it'll be cold and chilly and so my skin is just not having a fun time right now so i'm going to be doing a face mask a lip mask eye mask and just trying to give my skin back to love because it is struggling right now you guys but you are like girl what are you doing at 4 47 so two, two things okay so mondays i don't work but when i do work i'm working night shift so i go in at four and i don't get home until anywhere from 8 to 10 p.m so on mondays i really try to get productive for the week and i know that we do sunday resets but i like to do my like prepare for the weeks on mondays because i'm off and i can get things done mondays are like my sunday resets in a way so i just like getting things done on monday because i feel like it really sets good tone for the week but today is specifically gonna be like a skincare night because i really gotta get the skincare done but i'm also gonna be breaking baking cookies and doing some popcorn and watching some christmas movies hopefully i can find some good christmas movies because i have looked on netflix and none of the recent ones look interesting i've already watched christmas movies on netflix already and then i'm gonna look on prime video but if not we just might have to watch youtube my favorite youtubers adlia williams did just post a 46 minute vlog so we might have to be watching that tonight if i can't find a movie but i'm gonna try my best because this is like winter so i'm gonna hopefully try to be able to do that so before i got in the shower i wanted to show you guys just a few products that i'm gonna be using to shave i'm not gonna go into detail about like my body care and things like that because i actually did that in a video it was my self-care night routine i believe you can go look at that video if you want like more details about like whole body but i'm just shaving so i'm just gonna show you guys what i use to shave i don't use anything fancy i got this new shaving cream from target this is their up and up brand but it's the target brand this is the cheapest one i found so the next thing i use is the big soul eel i don't really know how to pronounce this brand but i get these from target too it always does a job perfectly fine i think it's one of the best women's razors for me personally i've heard that men razors are a lot better to use because they get a closer shave but i don't know i've never went out of my way to purchase men razors because this always does me justice and i've been using these for years like literally years so and then for my sugar scrub i'm gonna be using tree hut of course this is their moonlight glow one it's so pretty it looks so pretty such a pretty color it also smells so good too who would i be if i didn't smell on camera for y'all yeah it smells so good i just love that color so since it is 4 51 now i'm gonna go ahead and start making myself some dinner i'm gonna be making myself some alfredo and i don't do anything fancy or smancy i really do not i just put noodles some sauce and some seasonings and that's all i do for my alfredo so yeah and i'm gonna go ahead and eat an early dinner because y'all i am tired like i am actually tired right now starting really early you guys because i have to shave shower and do my face mask stuff so or like do my skincare stuff so i have to get started because i want to get in the bed i don't want to be going to sleep at like 12 a.m like today was a rather chill day i took my siblings to go to the park today they're out for christmas break woke up i did the dishes and i cleaned the kitchen just to feel productive um i took a shower i got ready for the day this is literally chill like i'm just literally wearing a cardigan crop top and sweatpants like that's literally it that was the fit for the day i was going for something real casual and then i had went to target today to pick up some stuff but let me not talk y'all right here let me go ahead and make this food and get started on this food and we'll chit chat in just a sec okay y'all so i know the lighting is not the best bear with me just wanted to give you guys a little haul of what i'm going to be doing for my alfredo and then we'll get back into the chit chat because i just didn't want to talk you guys to death right there when i could be being productive and multitasking getting two things done at once so yeah so i just put on a pot of boiling water and then i'm just going to be using this this um bar baria barlia barilla <laughs> brand fettuccine we don't have a lot left but this is i'm gonna just be using the rest of those in there and then i'm gonna be using this bertoli creamy basil alfredo sauce i don't make my homemade sauces because i'm just not there yet but i do get this brand alfredo sauce i really like it they have a lot of different flavors i think my favorite one is like roasted garlic or something like that so i like crushed red peppers in my alfredo i don't know i just like spice and so i just use a little bit a little sprinkle of those because i just think this is really good and then for seasonings i just use black pepper and just some regular old sea salt i want to talk to you guys about what i was saying which what was i saying by the way 
I woke up and I got productive. I'm in my bed, opened my curtains to let some sunlight in because I don't have windows, you guys. But there's a room in the house that has a lot of windows. So like when you open the doors, it's like so much light and it's so pretty. I've been doing that recently because I don't have windows in my room. So I did that, made my bed up, washed the dishes, made breakfast for my siblings. And then I took a shower and got ready for the day. And then I went to Target because I needed to restock on a few things. Also, you guys, once your water gets to a little bit of a boil, you can go ahead and put some salt in there. So I changed the angle because I wanted to get right here so I could see the noodles a little bit better but you let them cook for like 12 minutes and then you take them out I'm gonna set the timer on the stove real quick 12 13 minutes you don't want to overcook them and if you undercook them they can be really hard but if you overcook them they'll end up being really soft and soggy and like just mushy and they're not good that way so 12 to 13 minutes is a perfect time and then you just gotta stir them occasionally and keep an eye on them hey guys so while the noodles are cooking I'm gonna be doing a this for that winter edition little template that I got off of pinterest so the first one is heated blanket or cozy fireplace definitely a cozy fireplace also comment down your answers down below i'm gonna try to put the questions on the screen so that you guys can see and then comment your answers down below but i really love the winter i love the cozy vibes i love the hot chocolate i love just the vibes of winter like dressing up in sweatpants and hoodies and just comfy clothing i love comfy clothing i'm a comfy cute girl so like my style is comfy and cute so this one says hot toddy or hot cocoa i don't even know what a hot toddy is let me look that up real quick oh it's a hot whiskey so obviously hot cocoa like what we're gonna do hot cocoa next one is christmas cookies or peppermint bark fun fact you guys i've actually made peppermint bark before in high school i made like hot chocolate covered strawberries and like candied grapes and things like that hey guys it's editing amber in the cut live in the flesh i just wanted to come on here and i'm editing this video because i realized i didn't even answer the question so the question was christmas cookies or peppermint bark and i totally got off topic so i didn't even answer the question but i'm going to go with christmas cookies because i just think christmas cookies are really good peppermint bark can be just too sweet and just too much going on but i think her cookies are really good and they're really festive and they really set the tone for christmas so yeah christmas cookies for the win <laughs> Gloves or mittens? I definitely would do mittens, I feel like. I feel like they're low-key the same thing, but I think mittens are a little bit cuter, so definitely mittens. And then skiing or ice skating? Ice skating, for sure. I really want to go ice skating, actually, and it's on my winter bucket list, you guys. Oh my gosh, it's on my winter bucket list, and I really want to go. I just want to go with my friends, and we just have, like, a really fun night, so hopefully we can do that. The last one is Christmas or New Year's. I don't really have, like, oh my gosh, New Year's, woohoo, like, yeah. Like, I don't really care for New Year's too well. Like, I could just sit in my house and really be chilling New Year's, and I would be just fine but christmas brings out excitement that jolly mood you know coming together as a family things like that so definitely christmas so i'm sitting at the bar to eat my food and this is what we're looking like it looks so good i know i made a lot i'm gonna go ahead and grub i'm gonna find something to watch on youtube i think i'm not gonna watch as this video yet because I might be watching that video tonight if i'm not able to find anything christmas related i actually might watch Savway. i might watch her because she just uploaded her vlogmas week three so i think that's what i'm gonna watch hi baby girl come here say hi baby oh Say hi, mama. Her hair gets everywhere, so I'm not putting her on me. You say hi, baby. <laughs> it's 6.36. I just got out of the shower. I just shaved and exfoliated, and I feel so good. What, girl? You have food. So I'm about to start doing all my skincare stuff. I have a moisturizing hydro gel eye mask. I have deep cleansing peak clay mud mask for my face. And then I have this cute little watermelon lip mask. And then I have a nose strip for these pores. I told you guys, I'm going in on the skincare today. First, we're going to do the pink clay mud mask because I didn't wash my face in the shower because like I'm doing all this stuff and I'm going to finally, after I'm done with all this, I'm going to finally wash my face and then moisturize it and then get ready for bed. I wanted to show you guys the two lotions that I use after the shower. I always use these two after I shower because they leave me feeling really soft they smell really good and they're very very moisturizing so the first like lotion to really moisturize my body is the nevea shea moisture deep moisturizing serum and shea butter this is the bomb.com and i tell you it leaves me feeling so soft and moisturized it leaves me feeling so soft and moisturized and then i use the eos shea butter 24 moisture body lotion fresh and cozy a lot of people use the vanilla cashmere one i also have that one but this one just smells so good like it really does make you feel and smell fresh so i really like this one so while i'm doing my face mask i wanted to give you guys like a little weekend recap or whatever recently i went to nashville with my friend and i'm gonna tell you guys all about it i was gonna film but i ended up not because i was really just like living in the moment and i really wanted to 
to record like i really really did because we did some fun stuff wednesday too but i was just like i'm not gonna be tripping about recording because i'm literally just living in the moment and i just want to have a good time plus we were downtown nashville so we were doing so much i will include pictures and or videos we both worked saturday morning we got off around like 3 2 45 3 o'clock and we drove to her house i think we left her house around like four i don't remember what time we left anyways we just stayed her parents and her sister and her sister's fiance was there and we stayed just like a couple hours we didn't stay the night or stay in a hotel or anything we just drove from her house to nashville and we ate at this restaurant called blue sake sushi or something like that um and i'll just include a picture of the food i got and i don't like sushi so i got these really really yummy lettuce wraps and they were really really good it was just so aesthetically pleasing it was so much going on y'all it was honestly so like surreal to be there and just like real time and once we got the food we got some ice cream it was overpriced um 17 dollars for two ice cream cones like ice cream was pretty good i got i think i got cake batter or like loaded cake batter or something like that but it was really good after we got the ice cream we basically had a home for the night i stayed the night at her house saturday night so sunday we went to dutch bros you guys and dutch bros we don't have a dutch bros in our city where we live but we have one another city over it's like a 40 minute drive from where we live and we literally drove 40 minutes <laughs> we drove 40 minutes to go to dutch bros because like why not like we were bored and we have been talking about it for so long like oh my gosh girl we need to go to dutch bros so we finally went and i got a golden eagle drink it was good the only thing i would have done was just added more caramel drizzle it just did it was not sweet enough for me later that evening we had went to a restaurant called melt i always get fried pickles like, anywhere i go where there's fried pickles at the restaurant i will i will get the fried pickles like i love fried pickles okay i got fried pickles and i got the chicken bacon ranch with lettuce mayonnaise bacon chicken and it it comes with fries on the side it was so good hey guys i just rinsed that face mask off i also did this saint ives lip scrub and flavor juicy watermelon i'm about to go ahead and put my eye mask on now oh and by the way it is 7 24 so we're doing pretty good on time i'm so happy that i started when i did i've never done anything like this before this is really cool also please excuse how red my face looks my skin's really sensitive oh don't mind my piercing i had to take it out to rinse that off my face and i actually need to go get it i may not be able to do my nose strip while doing my eye strips now we're gonna do the lip mask right, here we go guys i just got done from washing my face as you guys saw cookies are almost done but i just wanted to tell you guys that my skin feels so soft like it's like baby butt soft like seriously it has never felt this soft in my life so i'm getting ready to do my skincare so i wanted to point out that i don't do this stuff every night like this is a realistic night in my life but if i was to film my night routine it would be one second long because all i do is shower and brush my teeth and wash my face like that's all i do now tonight was just a little bit extra because i wanted to do this for myself and then i was like hey that would be a really fun video to film and i also wanted to mention that like i don't always make myself dinner especially on the nights where i come in late like my dad makes dinner every night i just didn't want what he made for dinner he made breakfast for lunch i mean breakfast for dinner so i didn't want that tonight so i just needed some alfredos i usually wash my face in the shower that's something that i did a little bit different tonight i almost never wash my face outside of the shower because i'm already in the shower so why not wash my face to me it just makes me feel dirty like i don't know like i'm a really i'm a really bad germaphobe you guys i don't know why i do certain things I like to brush my teeth and wash my face before i shower like my nighttime routine is brushing my teeth then getting in the shower wash my face in the shower getting out and chilling like that's it I decided that i'm gonna just watch azzy's new video i was looking around on like prime video and netflix and none of those movies seem interesting guys yeah, so i'm getting the popcorn out of the pantry right now i'm gonna be using the orville red and batchers gourmet popping corn movie theater butter classic six bags this popcorn is so good i'm actually gonna go ahead and put that in and i believe i put it in for like a minute and 25 seconds i'm not 100 sure these cookies look so good i did take them out so that they could sit and like you know harden okay here's a cookie guys i'm gonna go ahead and eat it mm. yeah so i just used this brand of cookies and i didn't make all of them of course because like i'm not making 24 cookies Alright guys, I'm going to go ahead and close out this video right now. So thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see y'all in my next video. Bye!